Here's a new challenge called QR code creation process. As a first step, we have to launch the web app by using this particular URL and click on download report button to download the report file, which will actually serve us as an input file. Once that is done, once we have downloaded the report file for every name with create QR code value in actions column, we have to perform the further steps. If I just move ahead, there's a step three where we have to search with the name value that we have from the report file that we have and we have to search with it right here in this particular website as I have highlighted the search input and if you get multiple occurrences for that particular name that you have to check with the ID match from that particular multiple results and then click on download button to download the ID card image which is a image file png file once that is done as a step four once it is downloaded extract the id number from this particular image file that we have just downloaded and as a step five launch the qr code encoder desktop app that you will get in the description below and enter the id number value into the input box provided to you and click on create QR code button. So uh, for more information, uh, when you just download the file of this particular desktop app, you will be getting a zip file, okay, which you have to extract and you have to click on the exe file available under that. Once that is done, when you just click on create QR code, you'll be prompted for the file location. Enter the file name as image, sorry, name underscore ID. For example, if the person name is Sharat Raju, then underscore his ID, which is one here. And save them into a specific folder as shown in the image. As a step seven, once QR code is generated, we will get a completed pop-up as shown in the figure. Click on OK to continue. So whatever steps we have performed till now, repeat it, repeat from step three to step seven to process all the applicable records. And as a final step, this is how the final outlook output will look like. You have a folder inside which you have that particular person's QR code. Okay, this is how it will look like. So what exactly will you learn when you complete this challenge? You will learn web and desktop automation because you'll be working with data scraping right here. And then you will learn OCR automation because you have to do extraction from the image files. And then you will learn file and folder operations because you will be retrieving files and writing back the files and moving the files into that particular folders. So that was about this challenge, all the best.